Good day folks. Well, it's time for another little update on the power unit. This is something I'm really determined to get done. <laughs> Mainly just so that I can have this thing finished and uh, focus on the engine. Although in the meantime I'm probably going to put a number of these large objects outside and focus on a uh, secondary workshop cleanup, probably the mid half. But for now, since it's freezing cold outside and I have been working rather early and late with my day job, including Friday, uh, we're just doing a little bit at a time and this is a great winter project because it's all indoors. So I'm just cleaning the tank out now with a scraper and a tub and it's puking up some pretty nasty stuff but that's typical tank sediment from many years of operation. Uh, yeah, but it should work just well. I'm going to flood it with uh, some of the waste oil. I've got a uh, probably 40 litres of recovered oil that came out of the tank, so I'm going to use the worst of it just to, just to wash it out, and then we'll move on to the better stuff and a drum of new stuff and actually fill it. Likewise, I'm going to clean the lid up and its gasket and uh, yeah, basically just glue the top back down again and should be right. Uh, the power unit or power coupling is right there. That's finished and fitted. That fits up perfectly. So it's just ready to go back on. I've cleaned the flange and the studs and everything. So all I've got to do is uh, just find some new nuts and washers and bolt it right up. Perfect. So for now, all I'm doing is washing the muck out of the tank, pouring a bit of white spirit. Just down here, I'm not washing the pump or anything, I'm just going to wash the sludge out with a bit of white spirit, then let it evaporate, and then I'll uh, move on to using hydraulic oil itself. Wash off any little bits and pieces like that, bits of, bits of sealant, that sort of thing. And it should come up pretty good. I haven't tested the solenoid valve yet, but as pointed out by one of my loyal subscribers, it is an industry standard valve and I can swap it out for a number of different models, including low voltage solenoids, uh, higher flow rate, all sorts of things. So I'll look at replacing that with a higher flow valve with probably 24 volt solenoids and go from there. But that's later on. I want to see this thing work as it is. And yeah. Nicely built power unit, good quality. The pumps by South Corp, I found out. Or South something or other, yeah. Decent pump, a lot bigger than the old one. Oily pump. <laughs> it's after a flush of about 8 or 10 litres. Washed out the bottom of the tank, all that. Nice and clean. Most of the fluid's gone. As you can see, there's a bit of sediment and other crap in there. I mean, it was originally drained into, the, into this tub as an emergency dump because, yeah, I kind of underestimated the contents of this unit. 125 litre drum didn't do it and, yeah, made a mess on the floor and ended up with half of it in here. So we use that for washing and purging. Now it's pretty much waste. That's all right, I've got a, uh, about, 50 60 liters of good oil which is more than enough i think the old fill went up to about there and that was about 35 liters so we've got more than enough just to bring it up to about there suitable level as long as nothing else leaks very good very very good the tank is clean All right, well, that's 20 litres in there. <laughs> it doesn't even cover half the filter. Well, just. It just covers half the intake filter. Yeah, I'm going to need more. There's another 25 there. And I think I'm going to have to go shopping. That stuff's in actually pretty good condition considering it's had a fair bit of use. It's not cloudy. It's not emulsified with water or anything like that. It's actually really good condition, so... I'm going to reuse it and just top it off with some other stuff. Uh, it's all pretty good. So, yeah, and that stuff's been filtered when it came out of the tank. It's uh, clean, it went into a clean drum that just had a minuscule amount of uh, 
engine oil in it not a big deal so yeah it's going to take a bit of oil to fill this tank I'm not going to fill it all the way I just want to dump these drums into it and then top it up once the uh, lid's on but trying to drain these drums through that little strainer that would take forever so yeah I want to get most of the oil in this before I screw the top back on okay well time to close up the casing everything seems to work all right and I've turned it over by hand and you do get fluid coming out of the return no problem airs bled out of the system and I've cleaned as much as I can off the lid I'll probably give the lid a little bit more of a rub down it seems to have freed up since I wiped it down with solvent but yeah there's a bit of blue max still left on there but I'm just going to use a bit more copper max and uh yeah, we'll seal this baby up and see what happens. Of course, don't forget to connect the return. <laughs> Definitely not going to do that. Forget about that one. But yeah, I've given it a thorough clean and uh, it's time to go back together again. Reseal and uh, rejuvenate. Oh, there we go. Tank sealed and ready. Just got to let the adhesive cure or sealant and uh, give the outer surface a good clean up and spray paint also green and uh, yeah we'll have the drive unit attached and ready to go I just got to make a uh, drive plate or drive flange for the diesel engine and build up the frame I've got the main frame rails now some uh, 50 by 50 by 6 mil thick box section basically trailer hitch tube and uh, yeah ready to go